Thank you for tuning in to the Behavioral Wealth Channel, where we look to improve your financial literacy by providing you educational videos that will help you make behavioral decisions in order to increase your personal wealth. Uh, in today's video, we will go over E-Trade's Core Portfolio Option, which is an automated investment tool that manages your diversified portfolio for a small annual advisory fee. Uh, this is a great option for those uh, of you just getting started in investing and may need a little assistance with choosing a diversified portfolio. Uh, so before you begin, of course, you will have to have an E-Trade account um, and the, what's great about the E-Trade platform is that it will walk you through the steps. Um, so when you go to the E-Trade landing page, you can select on what we offer and you will be presented with uh, some of their most popular uh, options. And you'll see here in the center is the core portfolio um, option, which as you can see here, um, basically is an automated investment management uh, tool. Again, uh, as you can see in their uh, disclaimer uh, that they do charge a annual advisory fee of just uh, 0.3% um, and a $500 minimum. And uh, the advisory fee is basically their way of managing your portfolio. Um, so we'll go into a little bit of the details of how that uh, is calculated. Uh, but again, for those of you that are just getting started, uh, having a advisory fee, someone to manage your money basically for, you know, basically less than a percent or less than half a percent might be a great option for those of you that are just getting started. So again, when you land on this page, you can click on get started. And uh, first question, um, as you can see here, it lists just uh, 12 questions and we'll go through each of these steps. Um, this is E-Trade's way of understanding a little bit more about what your personal um, financial plans are in order to ultimately provide you the best diversified portfolio that matches where you want to be um, based on the timeline that you present. So do you have a goal in mind? Uh, tell us why you're investing. And so you have three different options here. One is, you know, is it simply to build wealth, uh, save for retirement, or maybe you have a specific target goal. So maybe you're looking at this as an opportunity to just create um, some extra cash in the next couple of years because uh, you're looking to buy a new car or a down payment on a home or children's education. Um, so if you have a specific target amount that you're trying to achieve, you can definitely select this option. Uh, for today's purposes, I'm going to select the save for retirement. So I am purposely going through this with the idea that I may not need uh, to touch this money that I'm investing uh, for at least another 15, 20 plus years. So I'll click this option and hit continue. And again, this core portfolio option does require a $500 minimum. Um, so uh, the initial question is how much do you plan to invest initially? And you know, although it's $500 minimum, let's just say I had um, $2,000 that I've already saved. Uh, so I will go ahead and enter 2,000 here. And as you can see, you can add more money, of course, at any time. And uh, once you set up your account, you can actually set up the reoccurring um, contributions to this account. We can do that at a later time. So here again, 2000, hit continue. Um, do you want to add money to your account automatically? Again, um, for those of you that are working on, you know, just kind of forcing yourself to invest and set certain amount of money aside, this is a great option that E-Trade will link your E-Trade account to a checking account um, and have the funds automatically deposited into this core portfolio account based on your frequency. So for this example, uh, as you can see here, I have $50 and here are the drop down options that you can select. And for the purpose of this example, I'll select every two weeks that I want $50 to be automatically deposited into this account. And I will hit continue. So this is where E-Trade is trying to understand a little bit more about 
how long do you plan on having this money? Uh, when will you need it? Uh, this will also be used to determine the diversification in your portfolio. Um, so in this case, if you hit the drop down box, you can see that there's quite a few different year timeframes. Um, and again, for this example, it's purposely for retirement. So I'm going to say 11 or more years. Uh, when do I plan to withdraw this money? Again, same options, but again, this is retirement. I don't plan on needing it. Uh, as this is extra money that I'm putting away. So I don't plan on touching it for at least 11 years or more. And hit continue. All right, so here is, um, you know, what scenario are you most comfortable with? And as you can see here in their example, they're saying based off of an initial $100,000 investment, you can click on each of the samples. So starting with sample A, um, you can see there's, um, a high, medium, and low uh, average over the course of the year. Again, this is a hypothetical summary. Um, this is just trying to gauge what your comfort level is in fluctuation and your willingness to take risk. Um, so as you can see, three marks, best, average, and worst case scenario. Sample A, if we go to sample B, you can see that the best case and worst case scenario starts to widen. Uh, go to sample C, even more, sample D, even greater, and sample E is extreme. So you can look at this as least amount of risk to the most risk, right? Uh, the most risk meaning that you'll, the diversification might be focused on uh, funds that have uh, probably a higher, greater chance of return, uh, but they probably have a lot more volatility as well. But if, again, if you're looking at this as a long-term um, investment, then you might be okay with playing a little bit more aggressive or taking a little bit more risk in the first few years, especially if you have uh, quite a bit of time before your retirement. Uh, but for this purposes, I'll just go in the middle. Uh, I'll, I'll select something a little bit aggressive, but a little bit conservative and okay here with the, this example of this being my range. Now I'll hit continue. Again, this is trying to understand your personal style. Um, so the question, what's your investing style for this account? Uh, do you want to play it safe, uh, minimal risk, middle ground, growth focus? You want high returns over a long period of time, but you're okay with having some fluctuations, which the market tends to do. And then you have most aggressive, which would be typically if you're um, uh, maybe younger in age and have you know, quite a bit of time um, of riding the market fluctuation. Whereas if you're closer to the retirement age, uh, you might want to play it safe because you're not in a position to take a lot of risk with the money that you're putting away for retirement. Um, again, for this purpose of uh, this video, we'll use the middle ground. And I'll select continue. Um, what would you do? So imagine if your value of portfolio, your portfolio dipped 20%. Uh, but you didn't need the money for 10 years. And in get, again, in this case, I wouldn't because I'm looking at this as a retirement. Uh, so if my account happened to dip 20%, would I stay the course? Meaning would I panic and um, uh, but not react by closing my account or withdrawing my funds because I'm looking at it long-term? Um, would I rearrange my portfolio because dropping 20% scares me? Um, would I move to a less risky investment in three months or move to a less risky investment immediately, right? So this is trying to gauge um, your ability to handle market fluctuation. So of course, this last option here, if your account dropped 20%, you're probably not as immune to risk, at least initially, um, and you, you may want to withdraw the funds. So again, no wrong answer here. This will be something that you can change over time. Um, but the purpose of this video being an investment for long-term retirement, I'm going to stay the course, meaning that I'm okay with um, the market fluctuations. So I'll hit continue. Um, and after I hit continue, you'll see that it provides a couple of different options of um, which scenario would you prefer. So this is trying to gauge whether or not 
um, you're okay with taking greater risk and having a bigger return, but also being in a position where you might have a greater loss. Um, and then again, from the top to the bottom, it starts getting more neutral um, as you go. Uh, so for the purpose of this video, again, I'm going to say positive 24%, minus 23%. I'm kind of uh, okay with that, that fluctuation of volatility. So I'm going to select this option. Hit continue. Next question, how much do you care about outpacing the cost of living? Um, again, as you can see here, the definition here, the more this matters to you, the more risk you may need to take with your portfolio. If you click the information bar box here, um, it describes the cost of living as the overall price of goods and services uh, tends to rise over time. Um, so again, for this uh, the example, uh, I'll say that I, I somewhat care about it um, and then move on. And next question, how would you feel about your account value rising and falling? Um, again, going back to the question of are you comfortable or what would you do in, if your account dropped 20%? Um, so in this case, if I'm, a new, if I'm new to investing, uh, I may not know how I'm going to feel if I start seeing my account drop or, or increase, right? So I'm going to say neutral just because I'm uh, pretty new to the emotions of investing and I'm not really quite sure yet. So I'll select neutral as this option. Next question, um, do you want to add any specific investing focus? And again, it says you can change this at any time. Uh, so they give you a couple of different options. The first one is uh, socially responsible investments. Um, so these are exchange traded funds, uh, basically funds that are made up with companies that focus on the environment, uh, things that impact the social environment today and or governance practices. Um, the second option here, um, these includes um, exchange traded funds that have passive and active investing. And then uh, you have the option of no, no thanks, which is, uh, well, I may not know what either of those two are. So I'm just gonna select no thanks. Again, um, you can go back and change this at any time, the more that you get educated on the different types of funds. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I'll select no thanks and continue. All right, so based on the questions that you will answer, you will get this final summary here. And as you can see, this built out based on my questions, it's recommending a um, portfolio that has 60% stocks with 40% bonds. And you can click in the view portfolios for details. Um, but you can see here with this projection, based on the amount of money, initial money that I contributed, as well as the uh, bi-weekly contribution, assuming I don't do anything else, this is my forecast for my initial uh, $2,000 investment plus $50 every two weeks. Again, assuming I do nothing else at that point, but just continue to uh, contribute to my portfolio. Um, <clears throat> so again, starting from today to 2035, you can see the kind of projection, right? So naturally, the more money you invest over time uh, or <clears throat> changing in, in your contributions, this amount of money can tend to uh, significantly be higher depending on your personal and investment contributions. Um, <clears throat> you do see that there's other options here. So if you feel like based on your questions that you answer, on the questions that you answered, that maybe you're wanting to be a little bit more uh, aggressive, you can definitely see other options and um, play around with the different distributions of the stocks versus bonds. But let's just say I'm comfortable with this to start off. I'll just hit continue. And then the last step here, again, if you're a new user to E-Trade, uh, you can open up an account um, for the example of this purpose. I will, uh, I already have an exact an, a e trade account, so I get the option to convert an existing account. Um, so if you are new to e trade and don't have an account at all, you would hit this account open account option. Uh, you will go through providing your name information along with um, uh, social security information, date of birth information, um, as investments are 
um, required to be reported um, in your taxes based on your growth and or losses. Uh, so keep that in mind, uh, but please do your own research when uh, before investing, make sure that this is something that's suitable for you at this time. All right, well, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the content. Um, as always, um, please like and subscribe videos and you will see more content. Appreciate it. Thank you.